As you can see, <clears throat> we're getting ready to drop that pan, but just as a safety precaution, I got a jack underneath the oil pan right there. So it's held up on top by the bridge, but just to be sure that doesn't move and throw my position off, we're gonna have that on there as we take this loose. So let's get set up here. We'll start by just loosening these back ones. I'm going to take the four in the front. That one don't. I have to switch positions. I can't quite pull. Now those are going to be pretty freaking tight. But they should be. Very structural part of this video. Alright, so. It's loose, 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 loose. Boop, so it came down. So back on a rolling pin we go. Yeah, so it's free. Now the question is, will it pivot down? We still have to get these power steering lights loose. So let's go ahead and take it further loose. I'll push it back up. Like that. And then we'll take the bolts loose. Now there's not much holding up with this third bolt over here. It feels like it's hitting on the motor, motor mounts. All right, so let's see. I guess the best thing to do at this point is see if the motor is actually held up by the upper clamp. Okay, so our motor is being held up above because that's no longer supporting the baby. Since our motor is being supported from above, maybe what we should do is use this and go to the front. Let's slide this underneath right here. And give it some support in the front. Feels like it's gonna lower down. So we got one back one. And then let's lower. Sure, I don't want to take loose from the back because then it's just gonna be resting on this. It's not gonna go anywhere. We got to figure out how to get it to slide down. I think we're gonna have to get another jack under here. Okay, we got round two going on here. So now we got our jack holding up the front of the frame and we got a bucket and a board and 
transmission jack on the back. So now, let's see what we're gonna do. And now I'll take the bolts loose. I only got one bolt left in there. And then let's see if we can lower this down enough we can get our power steering. Now we got our bolts out in the back. Everything's held up. So now let's try lowering down a little bit. Now we lower things down so we can get to the power steering lines. I got it lowered down a little bit. We got the rack down some, but we can't go too far because these two lines right up here, the one that goes to the front, is probably okay. It's got a little more room, but the one that goes to the back is getting into a bit of a bind. And so what we gotta do right here is this line. It goes right underneath there, if you can see it. So that one comes around and goes up to the top. So at this point, we gotta take these lines loose. But right in the wheel well. So at this point, we'll take them off and then we're gonna lower this the rest of the way down. Okay, make the progress here on getting the lines loose. So we got up in here, the one line is loose now, but it still won't lower down. And the reason why is that line back way back there where that socket is, there is a little 10 millimeter nut that attaches a bracket for this line. And so I thought I'd just add that because it took me a few minutes to figure out why it still wouldn't lower down, even with that removed, but it's because there's a little bracket back there. So you gotta take a nut loose way back in there and you'll see it um, once you're looking. I don't know if I could show it. It probably won't focus back there, but it's right at the end of the, the socket. You see the socket back there? There's a little 10 millimeter nut on a bracket and that bracket attaches to that that pipe. So we'll take that loose and then that should free this pipe up. And so then the whole thing should drop out of there. All right, after a little bit of trials and tribulations, our steering rack is out along with our lower frame member. Everything went well. You only you have to take that one off right here like I say, there's a, well, you can kind of see it right here, a little easier. So this is the one pipe that has to come off. And then right there is the bracket that holds that one pipe on. So I'll crawl up under there and show you, but you can see it when you're looking this way into the car, right there is your input shaft and all of that. And so right here, if we look under the car, right here is that pipe. So there's the connector. And then right here is the little bracket thing. So this one has to stay with the car. It normally sits up in there like that. But now that we got all that out, we pretty much have an oil pan clear. So we'll start on that first thing bright and early. Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching so far.